where does the soul come from? How does the birth of a soul actually happen? This, I'm afraid, is a very difficult one because I really don't know. I can only tell you that the answer would never be able to be put in one sentence simply because souls are multi-dimensional. They exist in many, many, many realities and dimensions and frequencies and places and times. So that's why it's not going to be so easy to get a one phrase answer for this. For instance, I'm obsessed with finding other parts of my soul and I have found a few, not nearly as many as there are, but I have found a few. I've seen parts of my soul being extremely intelligent and then I see parts of my soul being extremely not intelligent. Parts of my soul being extremely wise and other parts are exactly the opposite. So it's difficult to find out exactly what level you're at, what level of growth or level of awareness as a soul. And it's difficult to find out when you're going to go back home. It's difficult to even find out exactly where home is or where it all began. Many channels can give us answers about the beginnings of a soul, but do keep in mind that we see things according to how our life is here on earth or according to how our brain works here on earth. It is very difficult for us to explain things multidimensionally when we live in a three-dimensional world and when, we, and when our world is based on duality meaning me and the soul. We separate ourselves from the soul. And when we do see answers, when we do give answers, they are based according to our life here. Let's see if I can give an, an, an answer that will be a little bit closer to this question. How does the birth of a soul actually happen? I really don't know. I think it all happened at the same time. Because once I asked my higher self, many years ago when I first got into these things, one of the first things we want to know when we first become metaphysical is, am I an old soul? And I asked my higher self years ago, am I an old soul? And my high self answered, well, all souls were born at the same time. So if we look at it from that perspective, yeah, you're very old. So I think, I can't be certain about this, but I think all souls were born at the moment of what we call the Big Bang. When that happened, when this energy we call God simply split itself up and started exploring. But I might not be right. So that's the only answer I could give at the moment. Where does the soul come from? Obviously the source, because we are all one. We're not separate from the source, this thing we call God. Since we're talking about God, let me mention something I see more and more of. This God is not an entity with an agenda, meaning it wants this and it does not want that. It's not like that at all. It's something like a glue that holds everything together and allows everything to take place, everything to happen. And another thing I have seen very clearly is that this energy we call God and the universe are one. They're inseparable. So don't 
let yourself get carried away with the notion that God wants things and that you must do what God wants. God doesn't have wants. So, I would say, just experience. Do whatever you like. Another reason I don't really know where a soul might come from is because when I think about it sometimes, there's a little voice inside me that says, who cares? Just be happy that you are. And just see what you can do with the fact that you are. With the fact that you exist. See what you could do with your existence. So then I leave the thought of how did it all begin and I focus more on what will I take back home with me when I go back. So yes, I will leave it at this because I really cannot answer this question. <laughs>